Hi, welcome to another episode of How to Run on Zwift. A very short um, update on treadmill belt speed or measuring the speed of your treadmill. Lots of people are really worried about their treadmill not matching their speed on Zwift um, and they're worried that their treadmill isn't working correctly. Look, if you have a really bad treadmill, a really poor quality treadmill, it may well be that your treadmill is not running at the speed it says it's running at. However, most treadmills, certainly newer treadmills, anything over a thousand pounds UK, fifteen hundred dollars, is going to be okay. Um, but there's a way you can test it. Uh, two ways I'm going to show you today to test the speed of your treadmill. Does the speed that's displayed on the treadmill display match what's actually happening in real life? So here's what we're going to do. Um, I'll show you my treadmill. Now, my treadmill is a Techno Gym My Run. Uh, it's about 3,000 UK pounds, so it's a, it's a pretty good treadmill. Uh, but I want to be sure that the belt is running at the right speed. Um, so look what I've done here. I have painted a massive white mark on my treadmill. So that massive white mark there um, is for me to count the number of revolutions of the treadmill belt. Uh, so what we're going to do is get, get on the treadmill. The treadmill is going to go up to six kilometers per hour. So that's 10 minutes per kilometer. And if you look down here, you can see the treadmill's at six minutes, uh, six kilometers per hour. And you can see the white mark, it's nice and big. And every time it comes under there, we count one. So I'm gonna start my watch and count 60 seconds. Let's go. One, two, three. Four, five, 33, 34, 34. So I counted 34 revolutions of the belt in one minute, uh, but we need one more bit of information, which is the length of the belt itself. Uh, you might find that in the manual of your treadmill. Otherwise, get a tape measure and literally turn the treadmill round and measure the exact length of the belt. You might need to put markers on the belt so you know where you start and finish. Uh, but my treadmill has a, a belt measurement of 2.97 metres. 2.97 metres. So we're now going to do a little bit of maths. And so I don't forget it. I've got the equation written down here. So it's 34 times 2.97 times 60. 34 times 2.97 times 60. Should we go and ask Alexa to do the maths for us? Alexa, what is 34 times 2.97 metres times 60? 34 times 2.97 metres times 60 is 6.0588 kilometres. 6.0588 kilometres. So if we say it's 60 minutes, uh, 6.0588 kilometers in 60 minutes, which means we're going uh, just over six kilometers per hour. So I hope that makes sense to you. In one hour of running, we would travel just over six kilometers, which means that the treadmill running at six kilometers an hour is bang on, really. So here's the second method for measuring the speed of your treadmill belt, or another method, there are plenty of ways to do it. Uh, but go to Amazon and buy yourself a measuring wheel. I know it seems odd, you're not gonna use it very often, uh, but if you're interested, if you're keen, and they're not that expensive on Amazon, go and buy yourself an actual measuring wheel. Um, I've got one, this is mine. It's a digital measuring wheel. What we're gonna do is we're gonna place it on the treadmill. I'm gonna stand on the treadmill as well because it's important that the treadmill is loaded with you on it uh, to make sure that you are getting an accurate measurement. And we're gonna run again at six kilometers per hour. Now, the good thing about this is we only need to run for one minute. And in one minute, we should cover 100 meters. So this digital measuring wheel should tell us we've done 100 meters. And that'll give us an approximation of the correct speed of the treadmill. You could do it for longer if you wanted to, uh, but just to save me catching my feet on the wheel while I'm on it, I don't wanna do it for too long. <laughs> Okay, so here's the uh, measuring wheel on the belt. And you can see it currently says zero. 
And uh, when we start the treadmill, uh, that will start ticking up. And we're going to count again one minute at six kilometers per hour. Three, two, one. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> Right, that took me a couple of attempts because I didn't realise when I stopped uh, running on the treadmill and lifted the wheel off the treadmill belt, it kept the wheel kept spinning, which is why I got 103 last time and then another time I did it, I got 106 metres. Uh, but I stopped the treadmill wheel with my hand as soon as I reached one minute and look what we've got. Exactly. Well, just over 100 metres, 100.3. So 100.3 metres um, on the measuring wheel, running at six kilometres per hour on the treadmill. That is about right. One minute of running should give us 100 metres of distance. And, and that's what we've got. Uh, it was a loaded treadmill with me on it. It's important to do that. Uh, but that's two ways in which you can work out the speed of your treadmill. Like I say, these aren't that much money on Amazon if you want to go and buy one. And far be it from me to suggest that maybe you use it once and send it back. <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't do that. If you've bought it, you've bought it. Um, so that's it. Uh, two ways to measure your treadmill belt speed to make sure that in Zwift or whenever you run on the treadmill, uh, the display saying six kilometers an hour or 10 kilometers an hour or 15 kilometers an hour uh, is correct. Uh, there you go. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. We'll see you for another how to run on Zwift very soon. Bye bye.